There are two um, kind of pushes for, for this study to take place. One is that we were interested on how advertising connects to rituals, particularly cultural rituals. Do our cultural rituals influence advertising? Or does advertising actually push and propagate certain rituals? And more specifically, we, were, we became interested in the study of mobile technology services, particularly because they have become so normal to us. We see a lot of mobile television advertisements for us. And in, previ in our previous studies on semiotic analysis, we saw that the very ubiquity of mobile technology advertisements almost appears as so normal that they start to seem to be communicating certain ideologies that can indirectly influence the way we think about ourselves, the way we think about society, the way we think about interacting with another. And so it's th that started us to, that edged us to kind of think about how mobile service advertisements might be influencing us in terms of how we think about communing with another. To be able to do the semiotic analysis, we had to gather um, several ads that depicted mobile technology services. Semiotics is a study of science. So it's a study of what science actually means. So in short, when you do semiotic analysis, you look for the hidden meaning from science. So we first saw and analyzed what was being depicted by the ads. And then we tried to explain why that is so. Right? Why, why do advertising companies probably do that? And so we saw the different dimensions of Capua as manifested in the ads. So from smaller to slightly bigger to bigger ones. One is connections in terms of tight family ties, familiar connections. The second level is the importance of a community. And the, the final one, Pakikipagkapua in the context of people power revolutions. That was very apparent in Philippine ads on mobile services. And we were struck at what we found. So the first level was kind of emphasizing um, the importance of family, the importance of the role of my parents, the importance of um, kind of maintaining our close ties. At the second level, or bayanihan, coming up very apparent. Like people, um, there was this particular ad where people were texting because the jeep was gonna fall off the cliff and because of their texting they were able to create an imaginary bridge that prevented the jeepney from falling off the cliff to actually find a logical connection between texting and creating a magical bridge is a little not too understandable to us but somehow the advertisement was able to make that connection right so a very common theme in in, in that particular cluster of ads was the concept of bayanihan how communal use of the mobile phone is gonna allow us to kind of conquer our trials and tribulations. And the third cluster of Pakikipagapwa is a people power. Very common in, 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 in those cluster of ads was kind of drawing from our experiences of coming together, again, Pakikipagapwa coming together, and, and this time to be able to kind of surmount a huge battle and here are, are several examples of people uh, kind of um, waving their red flags, walking together, and kind of advancing a particular kind of a societal, political mood, right? So we, we found that quite interesting, particularly in comparing to other kinds of ads from other Southeast Asian countries.